Okay, so I found a method on how to become and stay motivated, happy, and energized all day. And it might sound simple, but there are two key tips that helped, helped me a lot. And bro, if they sound simple to you and, and like you already know it, you probably still don't do it because you still feel perhaps bored, sad, depressed, and all that stuff. Get, guess what, bro? If you do this stuff correctly, like I'm about to tell you, you're just go going to feel finally happy, motivated, and energized. So, what I did basically is improve one my sleep, really have eight hours of sleep, not just thinking you have seven or seven and a half, but actually eight for real. And actually going to sleep and having those eight hours in bed, that's one. And two, having the workout and the run, the run had the workouts, the runs at the right time in the day. So that when your frequency, when your energy and mood drops, you raise it up with the workout and the run. And for the first part of the day, you obviously can get into a great mood and energy through eight hours of sleep. So think about it. Let me, tell, let, me let me share with you a story of mine. So for quite some more time, for quite some time, I wanted to just... I, I thought um, maybe I can sleep a bit less. Either way, I know sleep is important, but I want to focus on my work more because, you know, there's school stuff, there's homework, there's other ha good habits that I got to do. And I'm thinking, man, I want to focus more on this channel, on helping you and the boys and focusing on my self-development, teaching it to you, bro, and really focusing on developing my knowledge, skills and so on, developing the business. And I'm thinking, man, I can get one more hour or some more if I just sleep a bit less. And I know that's not really good, but I want to just focus on this. And so I did for quite some days, but guess what happened? My energy, my energy and mood dropped for real. I mean, bro, I had some, some days when I either, either started to do work first or read the Bible first. And I literally fell asleep, bro, quite sometimes. My eyes were like, were like, yeah, I was... I was reading, but they, they were closing many, sometimes, quite sometimes I, I, I just fell asleep. That's not a good thing to do, man. I mean, in, in the morning, bro, after you slept, you still are sleepy. That, because that, I was self-deprived, that happened. And also my mood was eh, kind of bad too. I mean, compared to after that, because... I've, I figured, okay, what's another thing I want to improve and I got to improve? And an answer came to mind. It was my sleep. And so I thought, okay, let's listen to the podcast of Alan Walker on the podcast, The, C the Diary of a CEO with Steven. And so I listened to it. And that guy who is a sleep coach who analyzes this, how it affects the brain, the health, the body, and, and mood and so on. And so if you key important ideas that I got from it is that your sleep heavily influences your mood, your energy, and your motivation, basically. So I see that, okay, better sleep affects positively your energy, mood, motivation, and so on. And so I tried. I think in the first day, I set, basically I set the time for how much to sleep. I don't remember exactly what hour, maybe six a.m. and just go to bed at 10 then I moved it with one hour basically go after some time uh, wake go to sleep at 9 and wake up to 5 but basically when I when I first tried all this eight hours in bed basically right man it was a massive difference massive I bro I when I woke up and I remember what Luke Belmar said th think about it remember what he what he said bro he said, how, delu how stupid and weird is to wake up tired because you already slept was the whole point of sleep, right? Think about it. And I had that. But, I mean, that, you know, woke, woke up tired and, and in a bad mood and sometimes. But think about it, bro. I tried that eight hours in bed. And when I woke up, it was unreal, bro. It was almost like, bro, I couldn't believe the fact that I felt so good and so alert 
in an instant. I, you know that you know how you need to go through basically if you don't sleep eight hours. How you how you when you wake up, you are a bit ah uh, still still sleepy and it takes you like half an hour or something to get a bit more alert, a bit more awake to feel that. I felt instantly pff, super awake, basically when I woke up. I feel I felt rested. I felt energized. I I had a great mood. And man, it felt amazing. I couldn't believe it almost. So I'm like, man. Okay, I don't want to go back to that thing I did previously ever again. Now still, sometimes I perhaps didn't get my full sleep in because perhaps family events or I didn't do something properly or, or perhaps homework took too long. So whatever. I just need to, whatever. But generally, I found that, okay, eight hours, eight hours of sleep massively help with mood energy and motivation and the second part is that okay you had in, in the first morning in the in the first part of the day the morning basically because of the sleep you have high frequency basically positive emotion right as you go through that day maybe a bit in the evening let's say your frequency your energy your mood drops perhaps dips it down a bit let's say because it because it happened to me and so i thought okay what can i do to not make that happen or or maybe it was some just random thought i'm not sure but basically i came up with the idea okay well that's negative emotion basically i felt sad i felt lonely i felt bro loneliness was a major thing for me in terms of feeling that right because you know on this path self development they don't really find like minded people to meet with every day you're just online so it's a bit yeah you don't relate to anybody basically they, you want to improve your your physique your success in all areas you want to get success in all areas you want to improve and quit the bad habits and don't have and not to have any and basically focus only on the good ones but how many people do you know that are actually doing that in real life that are that you can meet with every day right well few maybe not even bro maybe nobody from your circle basically and i had that and i felt massively lonely and i thought okay if i use this technique of putting my workouts and my runs a bit later in the day because they get me into a higher frequency because they increase serotonin levels the hormone of happiness and also endorphins well, both the workout and the run, through the activity of actually putting resistance on the muscle, I'm pretty sure, and also definitely because you get way more oxygen in. And so I thought, okay, if I put those a bit later in the day, I can, when that dip happens, I can literally raise my frequency just like that immediately. And so, and it, it, it works because think about it. If you feel negative, that's low frequency, negative emotion. Now, if you do things that, that are supposed to put you into a higher frequency, you will get into a higher, higher frequency. And so, I figured, okay, let's put the workout and the run a bit later in the day. Because I used to basically work out right after school. But now I'm thinking, okay, I need to put it a bit later in the day. And so I tried that. And from what I remember, I didn't have any problems of loneliness since that point. And I think this was a couple days ago maybe a week ago not sure maybe a bit less but it makes sense because you might say oh but even if you do this i mean but you still feel lonely you still don't have those people around you that you want to be friends with your mentors like-minded people and self-development and so on doesn't matter bro the law i invented basically the or not invented but basically i begin to understand this concept of the law of frequency escalation which implies that means that if you do an activity that is supposed to put you into a higher positive emotion obviously you will that will happen you will get into a way positive emotion doesn't matter why what was the cause of the previous negative emotion because once you begin doing the activity for example the workout you will feel better no matter what 100% right if you actually go through a good workout, 
and or for example run and get way more oxygen in and truly improve that blood flow and and so on whatever else it happens in the body basically that you feel way way better and let me share with you something you perhaps saw it if you if you saw my recent videos or older videos but basically there's this thing called the frequency chart and these are the frequencies right you perhaps feel loneliness fear desire anger guilt shame these are low frequencies basically right and so if you do an activity that raises your frequency basically eight or eight hours of sleep that's for the first part of the day and it lasts you with positive emotion positive mindset positive mood energy and so on until later in the day and then late and then later when, it, when when all that kind of dips down you raise it up again to 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 this with the workouts and the, and the runs basically right basically to acceptance reason love joy peace enlightenment and you feel way way better your serotonin levels your endorphins boost up basically and you feel way better way more happy way way happier way more energized and loneliness and all the other bad emotions that are negative just disappear because you are not here anymore you raise up your frequency to here so those are some methods on how i cure this and it massively helps it's amazing and i love it so make sure you do this so one eight hours in bed that's one and make sure you actually get eight hours in bed but not spend some more minutes after that because it turns into more time that you're not in bed so one eight hours in bed two put the workout in the run but perhaps a bit later in the day if you feel that dip yourself in that dip in motivation energy mood and so on put that later in the day try for one day and see how it is you if you go to the gym i perhaps work out i at least work out at home with weights so if you go to the gym or something, I don't know, maybe just go a bit later and see how it is. Maybe, maybe it's actually beneficial for you and you see the contrast effect, how it actually feels, if it's, how much better it feels when you actually do it. Maybe it's better for you that way, maybe it's not, who knows, but try it and see, right? And uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the video. If you're interested also in building your discipline, up, building your confidence and consistency and also your physique, I have a program, it's called my Self Mastery Program, and also how to build an, aes an aesthetic physique guide, and all those are in the description for the first 10 guys is for free, so if you're interested in that, you can literally go there and I can help you massively with more in, de in detailed, more in-depth ways on how to become disciplined, consistent, confident, build muscle, and so on, as you saw. Um, on the topics on, on the channel is just on the program is way way more in depth and way more tips and way actually a structure plan basically a system so if you're interested in that first link in the, in the description and also you can join our discord server we have more guys with self-development we can keep ourselves accountable there and talk on different topics if you're interested and yeah remember we're limitless because we never peak if you so choose to and i'll see you in the next one Peace.